B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 That's so much fun. It's education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hello and welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Seb and I'm Ben, and we're still talking about family. Whoa, that can be a great thing or a terrible yeah, thing. Yeah, depends. depends how your relationship yeah, is with some of your、does. family members. It yeah, it does. So we already talked a little bit about my family in、yeah. yesterday's introduction, my、mm-hmm. relationship with my sisters. Yeah, and you told us a little bit about your big yeah, international family. Very international, yeah. Very extensive、mm-hmm. family. So Ben, which、yeah. members of your family do you like? Spending time with the most,、oh, and why? Yeah, that is a good question. Dangerous question. Yes, that is. I have to be <laughs> careful when I read this answer. But when I was young,、mm-hmm. I grew up in the United States, but I had cousins in Taiwan. So、mm-hmm. although I didn't travel here often, I enjoyed spending time with them as our cultures were so much different.、Mm-hmm. Now I got to play with their toys and try to talk to them in a new language.、Mm-hmm. I came here every five or seven years or so, and they took me in like a brother. And whenever I was here, so to this day, when they come to America, we treat them to our holidays, like enjoying Christmas and traveling in the snow. While、mm-hmm. I'm here, they show me all sorts of great places to eat food. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Wow. And do you still have like a bit of a language barrier with them、oh, now? Oh, it, it's getting kind of better. Yeah. yeah my my Chinese、now. is improving now,、yeah. so we're we're on more、yeah. better wavelengths. And、now. you must get to see them more. Now I do now. Yeah, that's a good plus. So it's、yeah. connected the、uh, the family、yeah. ties a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome.、Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we learned a few good family words for talking about. Lucia's family in day one. Now we're going to learn a few more confusing ones. So let's get started with our day two article. All right. Culture shock. So many relatives. Warm up question: Which members of your family do you like spending time with the most? Why? They are at a table. Simon is next to Lucia and a woman. Simon, this is Wendy, my 二阿姨 Her English is really good. Leo and Annabelle are her children. Hello, nice to meet you. So, 阿姨 means aunt, right? That's right. Lucia's mom has two maimi or younger sisters. Lucia calls us second aunt and third aunt. Simon looks at some other people. He talks to Lucia. So your dad's sister is over there. Is she Ai as well? The proper word is gu gu. We use different words for the two different sides of the family here. This is getting confusing. A young man comes over to introduce himself. Hi, are you Simon? I'm Eddie. I'm Lucia's 表姨丈 And that means I'm Lucia's mother's father's sister's. Daughter's husband. I need to draw a family tree. Word power. Children. Children. Even though John and Ellen are married, they don't want to have any children. Even though John and Ellen are married. They don't want to have any children. Aunt, 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 aunt. I have two aunts. My mother's two sisters. I have two aunts. My mother's two sisters. Side, side. 
Pat has family from India on his father's side. Pat has family from India on his father's side. Husband, husband. After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. 认识智慧 Proper. Confusing. Okay. Well, Simon and Lucia are in the restaurant. They're meeting Lucia's family, and the article says they are at a table. Simon is next to Lucia and a woman. Whoa! And then Lucia says, "Simon, this is Wendy, my 二阿姨 Her English is really good. Leo and Annabelle are her children." I see. Yeah, and that brings us to children, which is a noun. C H I L D R E N. Children. All right. So children is the plural form of child and can be used to mean a person between birth and full growth. But in the article, it means someone's sons or daughters of any age. You will always be your parents' child, no matter how old you are. Here's an example sentence: Even though John and Ellen are married, they don't want to have any children. Even though John and Ellen are married, they don't want to have any children. Okay, so Simon is meeting Lucia's er ai now, and he says, "Hello, nice to meet you." So ai means aunt, right? And there is our second word for the day: aunt, a noun, and it's spelled a u n t, aunt. So your aunt is the sister of your mum or dad. Now, depending on where you are in the UK or the US, you might hear people say aunt, an aunt, or aunt. So these are both the same spelling, just slightly different pronunciations. When we're addressing our aunts, we might call them auntie as well, which is kind of a more familiar way of saying aunt. For example, Auntie Louise, or "It's lovely to see you again, Auntie." You can call the brothers of your mum and dad your uncles. So your aunt could be married to your uncle. It, the uncle could be your aunt's husband, or the uncle could be your aunt's brother. It could be either one of those. However, we don't really call uncles "unky." You might see it occasionally in some movies with little kids, but it's much less common than "auntie." Now, one big difference between English and Chinese is that, unlike in Chinese, where we have lots of different words for all our different aunts and uncles, depending on how we are related to them, we only have one word for all our aunts and one word for all our uncles, which is really easy for you guys learning English. Now, here is an example sentence using aunts. I have two aunts, my mother's two sisters. I have two aunts. My mother's two sisters. All right. So in the article, Wendy says that's right. Lucia's mom has two maymay or younger sisters. Now Lucia calls the second aunt and third aunt. Now that takes us to the word younger. Now younger means being of lesser age. It is often used as comparing the ages of two different people, as one could say, "Who is younger between you two?" Right. And we saw the words second and third. Now, first thing we need to look at here. See, I just said first as well. You see where I'm going with this? We're talking about ordinal numbers. Now, that's a very fancy word we use when we're ordering things in terms of the first, second, third. So you already know your basic numbers: one, two, three, four, five. Let's start with those. We, the ordinal version of those are first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now, the easiest way of, of thinking of how these work is by thinking about a running race. When you have five people running in a running race, the very the quickest person, the person who finishes first, is the first person. They are number one, and they are the number one person to cross. So they are first. The next person is second. The person after that is third, then fourth, then fifth. So now we understand a little bit more about second and third. We can talk about what a second aunt or a third aunt is. 
Now, what we're basically saying is that the second aunt is the second oldest of the aunts.、Mm. So,、uh, Lucia's oldest aunt, which is probably her mum, actually, she's、mm. not said. We've not heard of a first aunt, so we can guess that her mum、yeah. is the eldest sister.、Mm. The second aunt is her, her mum's younger sister,、mm -hmm. and the third one is the youngest sister of the three. So that's very common in Chinese, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We hear、mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, that we normally say which、uh, the number, older, yeah, yeah, which number the aunt,、uh, the aunt or uncle is,、yeah. or the sister is, for、mm -hmm. example.、Mm -hmm. Now, in the states abroad, a second aunt would mean the female、mm -hmm. cousin of one's mother or father.、Mm -hmm. However, in Taiwan, it means the second oldest of your immediate aunt.、Mm -hmm. Now, for third, a third relative, including a cousin of an aunt, has a blood relation from your great grandparents.、Mm -hmm. Whereas in Taiwan, it is more of the third youngest in the family tree of aunts.、Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the article. Now, Simon looks at some other people. He talks to Lucia. Right, and he's got a question for her.、Yeah. Simon says, "So your dad's sister is over there. Is she I as well?"、Hmm. And it looks like Lucia is going to correct him. Yeah, well,、mm -hmm. the proper word is Gugu. Now、mm -hmm. we use different words for the two different sides of the family here.、Mm -hmm. Now proper means the correct way of something. Now there are many different times we could use proper for names, how to cook, how to teach. And how to play sports all have a proper way to do something、mm -hmm. correctly. So, for example, the proper way to hit a baseball is to hold the bat with two hands, keep your eye on the ball, and swing.、Mm -hmm. right. right, you've got to keep your eye on the ball. Yes, you're not going to hit it. Most important one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and we saw our third vocab word there as well. Side. Now, side is a noun, and it's spelled S-I-D-E. Side. When we are talking about the sides of a family, we mean one part of the family. Normally, the part you are related to through your mum, or the part you are related to through your dad. So let's look at an example sentence first to get an idea of how this works. Simon is my cousin on my mum's side. Let's call him Sam. Actually, let's not get confused. Sam is my cousin on my mum's side. So that means that. Sam is my mum's sister's or brother's child. Okay, he's not related to me through my dad. He's not related to my dad. Here's another example. My dad's side of the family are from Korea. So my mum, my mum's mum, my mum's dad, they could be from Germany. They're not from Korea because they're not on my dad's side of the family. My dad's brother, my dad's dad, they are all Korean. We can also use side to mean the area to the left or right of an imaginary line. For example, I live on the French side of the border between France and Spain. That means I live in France. I live on the French side of the line between those two countries. Lastly, we can take sides in a fight, and take sides here. Is a phrase we use to mean that we say that we agree with one person in an argument, but not the other. So here's an example of that. I can't believe you took Millie's side in that argument. Now one more example sentence here, again using side as we see it in family trees. Pat has family from India on his fa father's side. Pat has family from India on his father's side. Okay, so Simon is starting to realize how confusing Chinese family trees can be.、Yeah. He says this is getting confusing. Now, confusing is a word we use to talk about how we feel when we don't really understand something. So,、um, for example, a confusing math problem、oh, yeah. is one which has lots of difficult bits in it.、Yeah. You know, it's probably very difficult,、yeah. and we can't find the answer easily. So we say this math problem is. Confusing, and we can also say that we feel confused. Yes,、exactly. so the math problem is confusing. It makes us feel confused. confused. That's a good way、mm. to put it, Sam. Yeah. So let's look back at the article, and a young man comes over to introduce himself,、mm -hmm. and he says, "Hi, are you Simon? I'm Eddie. I'm Lucia's Biao Yi Zhang." Hmm. Okay. And Simon says, and that means. Yeah. Well, he says, I'm Lucia's mother's father's sister's daughter's husband. Now that takes us to the word husband. It's a noun, H U S 
B A N D, husband. All right, so a husband is a male partner in a marriage. In a traditional marriage, it is between a wife and a husband. However, with same-sex marriage, the term partner is often common to explain the wife or husband. Now, with divorce rates high, many parents often become single parents as well when they separate. Thus, you might hear some people saying they are a single mother or father or a single parent. They take care of their child by themselves while they are separated from their former husband or wife. Here's an example sentence: After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. Okay, it seems like Simon is feeling the same way I am because he says I need to draw a family tree, and it's funny that he says that actually because we're going to be drawing a family tree in review time, but not before we check out today's magic box. Magic box, 找亮点 Hi, 大家好，我是 Peggy. 虽然说呢，人比人气死人，我们做任何事情都不要跟别人比，要跟自己比才不会总是让自己气噗噗。但是活在这个世界上啊，总是无可避免有要比较的时候，所以今天我们就来学学怎么使用英文里面的比较级喽。英文里面的比较级啊，有我想一下啊，一二三，六种变法，听起来好像很多哎，六种，但其实很简单啦。首先呢，第一种就是结尾是一的形容词，像是 large， 这种形容词的比较级在后面加直接加上一个 r， 变成 larger 就可以了。第二种则是结尾是普通的子音的形容词，比如说 young， 或是 old， 或是 tall 等等。这些形容词呢，则是在后面直接加上 er， 形成形容，形成比较级。比如说像是 younger， older， taller。第三种呢，则是字呃形容词的结尾是子音母音子音这样子的结尾，像是 fat。就是子音母音子音，或是 big， 这种时候啊就要重复字尾，再加上 er， 所以呢 fat 就会变成 fatter， 就是 f a t t e r，big 就会变成 bigger，b i g g e r。再来就是字尾是 y 的形容词，像是大家很常见的 happy 或是 busy， 这个时候呢则要把 y 拿掉，加上。I E R 变成 happier, H A P P I E R， 或是 busier, B U S I E R。其实以上四种啊，其实都是字尾加 E R 的各种变化型。最后要讲两种不可以加 E R 的比较级，就是第一种就是形容词很长啊，有三个音节以上的时候，像是 beautiful 或是 delicious。这种时候就不要什么 beautifuler 啊， deliciouser 啊，那个真的是太长了，不用加 er， 直接在前面加上一个 more， 变成 more beautiful 或是 more delicious。最后一种呢，则是不规则的变化。遇到这种啊，就一翻两瞪眼，要稍微背一下、啊。不过幸好这样子的形容词并不多，最常遇到的就是 good 和 bad， 好和不好。Good 好的意思的它的比较级是 better, b e t t e r. Bad 不好的它的比较级呢，则要写成 worse, w o r s e. 以上就是今天的文法小教室。在学比较级的时候，最后大家还是要记得，最重要的永远是要跟自己比，不要跟别人比。只要今天的自己有比昨天的自己进步一点点，你就是最棒的。You are the best. 最棒的我们呢，赶快来试试用看看今天学会的比较级吧。我的哥哥比我高，也比我胖哦。这边提示一下，哥哥就是年纪比较大的 brother 哦。那么这个句子要怎么造呢 ？The answer is my brother is taller and fatter than I am. 你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。
Okay, so we've been learning a lot about family trees in yes, these two days, have. haven't we? So it's time for us、mm. to practice what we know. In this review time, I'm going to be giving some instructions to you guys, and you guys are going to draw your own family tree. Okay, but you need to do it using the rules that I have here on this whiteboard. Ben is going to do it too, and at the end, you can check if you got all of the instructions right. Okay. So start by drawing, writing the name Ben in the middle because th- we are drawing Ben's family tree. Yeah. Okay. There we go. The first thing I want you to put in Ben's family tree is that Ben has two children. Okay. You can call those children whatever you want. Okay. Ben has two children. The next instruction is Jane is Ben's. Aunt. Okay, Jane is Ben's aunt. Next, Eric is Jane's husband. And lastly, Tom is Ben's uncle on his mum's side. Okay, Tom is Ben's uncle on his mum's side. If you want to pause it now, you can read the instructions here.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you have your family tree ready, Ben? Show them what、All、you、right. drew. Here we go.、Mm-hmm. This is a little complicated, but see how close you guys got to the family tree. There we go. So Tom is Ben's uncle.、Uh, Jane is Ben's aunt. Eric, we could say, is Ben's uncle too. Yes, we? Yeah, yeah, we could. He, but he's not related to、mm. Ben. He's Just married to Jane. He's Jane's husband.、Yeah. And lastly, you've got two kids, Nicole, yes, Nicole and, and Jeff. Jeff. Okay, didn't know you had two kids. Oh, <laughs> secret! <laughs> the things we're learning about Ben. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time we've got for today's article on families and family trees. You guys can maybe do a bigger one now. Maybe do your own families.、Uh, but for A Plus English, it's all the time we have. I'm Seb. And I'm Ben. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Culture shock. So many relatives. Warm-up question: Which members of your family do you like spending time with the most? Why? They are at a table. Simon is next to Lucia and a woman. Simon, this is Wendy, my 二阿姨 Her English is really good. Leo and Annabel are her children. Hello, nice to meet you. So, I means aunt, right? That's right. Lucia's mom has two Mei Mei or younger sisters. Lucia calls us second aunt and third aunt. Simon looks at some other people. He talks to Lucia. So you're. Dad's sister is over there. Is she Ai as well? The proper word is Gu Gu. We use different words for the two different sides of the family here. This is getting confusing. A young man comes over to introduce himself. Hi, are you Simon? I'm Eddie. I'm Lucia's 表姨丈 And that means I'm Lucia's mother's father's sister's daughter's husband. I need to draw a family tree. Word power. Children. Children. Even though John and Ellen are married, they don't want to have any children. Even though John and Ellen are married, they don't want to have any children. Aunt, 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 aunt. I have two aunts. My mother's two sisters. I have two aunts, my mother's two sisters. 
side, side. Pat has family from India on his father's side. Pat has family from India on his father's side. Husband, husband. After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. After the wedding, Matt and Erica became husband and wife. Proper, confusing.